Welcome to the Tokyo Game Show. From the moment you step in here to the Makuhari Messi Exhibition Center, you are literally surrounded by the sights and sounds of the gaming industry. The organizers of this event, which has been going on for the last 20 years, are quick to point out all of the records being broken this year. 614 exhibitors from 37 different countries and regions, a thousand new video games on display, and several hundred thousand people are expected to attend. Yet, two of the biggest names in the gaming industry are noticeably absent, Microsoft and Nintendo. They are holding their own separate events, which means that the main attraction here in Tokyo is just down this way at the enormous Sony exhibit. You're seeing right now a demonstration of the next big thing for the PlayStation brand. It's the virtual reality headset that users of PlayStation 4 will be able to buy beginning next month. Whether or not it will be a commercial success is yet to be seen, but certainly uh, this product generating a lot of interest here. Also, the PS4 Pro. This is the first time that someone's tried to upgrade a console in the middle of its lifespan. This product, the Pro, is designed primarily for people with 4K televisions looking for an ultra high definition gaming experience. Nintendo may not have a display here, but you can still find some people playing Pokemon Go. Of course, Nintendo and Sony are still major players in the gaming world, but for a lot of Japanese gaming companies, this really is a fading business. Take, for example, Konami or Sega just down the way there. They're no longer what they once were, much like the Tokyo Game Show itself. Now in its 20th year, this used to be the epicenter of the global gaming world. This is where all the new products were launched, and that's just not the case anymore. A lot of these games have already been out for months. Still, this is a rare opportunity for hundreds of thousands of people, some of them in costume, to come here and test out games months before they'll be able to play them at home. At the Tokyo Game Show, Will Ripley, CNN.